Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another product trials, except I'm not going to be doing it on a makeup product. Today I'm actually going to be doing it on a product that you can use to take off your makeup. So this is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser and it just says it is a moisturizing deep cleanser and makeup remover. I've got it in the travel size, but it does come in a much larger sort of pot. I think it's maybe about like that big. So it actually is quite a big pot. And this was not that expensive. I think this was, I want to say less than $6. So this is just a little travel size. Um, it's 99 grams. And I thought this was just the perfect size to actually trial it out and see if it works. I have seen um, a couple of people review this before. And they said that they really liked it. So I wanted to give it a go today on camera to see if it could take off my makeup. It is the end of the day. I have been wearing this makeup now for over 12 hours. So it is definitely due to be taken off. My eyes are bloodshot and I am ready for a shower and bed. So when you unscrew the lid, it is just a solid cleanser. So it just looks like that so it is just a white white cream really just a thick white cream it has a very very clean scent to it but it oh there might be a touch of floral so if you're very sensitive to smells that's something to be aware of I'm not so it doesn't really bother me that much but yeah it's a it's slightly floral but mostly just clean so what I'm going to do is use it on half of my face and then wipe it off and then we'll see how it looks and how much it actually can take off. According to the instructions on the back, um, you gently apply to skin, wipe with wet washcloth and then rinse if desired. So it also says that it is hyperallergenic, suitable for sensitive skin, won't clog pores and is dermatologically tested. So we'll give it a go. Now I'm just going to, I am obviously wearing false lashes, so I am going to just take those off and we'll just go right in. So don't really know sort of how much to use, but we'll see how that goes. Just sort of rub it in. So hopefully that's a good angle for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of the cleanser and on the same side and just keep rubbing that in and just put a good dollop. I have also seen people put this directly on their eyes so we will give it a go and see if it really burns or what. It doesn't look like it should be going on the eye but we will give it a go. Okay, it does not sting my eyes. As you can see, it is very gloopy in my eye and my eye is open and it does not sting at all. It is like it is quite quite thick, but it doesn't hurt at all. And it looks like it's broken up the makeup really well actually. I've got it in my hair, but that's okay. It's very easily removed that eyeliner and mascara. Okay, so hopefully the camera is going to pick up where you can see, not flip you off, <laughs> where you can see all of the makeup has broken down and is just sort of sitting on the top of my skin. So I'm just going to go in now. I have a wet washcloth and just follow what it says, which is just to wipe it off. I'm not going to rinse my face, but on the other side, I actually have my Garnier Micellar Water as well. So I want to try and take it off with that and see if it actually like works if you don't have like a washcloth but you have micellar water it might work as well I'm just gonna oh beautiful that's pretty good that came off so easily like absolutely no effort whatsoever I did not rub or like, I'm not putting any extra pressure or anything like that on my skin to scratch anything off. Like, I'm not 
putting much pressure at all. I mean, my skin always goes red when I rub it anyway, but I'm not scratching at this. I'm not giving it any extra oomph to come, like to pull the makeup off at all. I'm really impressed with that. I'm really happy with it. I think that was so easy and effortless. <laughs> like that was really, really easy. You can see on my face cloth, like that's all makeup. So that came off super, super easy. What I am actually going to do is just take a face round, cotton round, and the micellar, and I'm just going to wipe it on my face just to see if there are any traces of makeup left on that side. Okay, that's the cotton round. Maybe like the absolute bare minimum of makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead now and take off the other side. It just, it feels like it breaks down mascara so nicely. Like, you don't have to tug at your eyelashes, you don't have to really press it at all. Like, I'm putting a very, very bare minimum amount of pressure at the moment. And it's just melting off so easily. Okay, so as I said to take this side off, I think now I've rubbed that in pretty good. I'm going to take another cotton round and a little bit more micellar water and just see if that takes it off. That's two cotton rounds and I'm just going to now take a third one and see what is left on that side of my face. Okay, so that is what is on the third cotton round. There's a bit of lipstick there. I'm not sure if I actually really wiped it over my lips very well in the first place, but anyway. Okay, so now that I've wiped all of the cleanser off, my skin feels really nice. It feels really soft. It does not feel drying at all. It feels actually really moisturized. It just, it feels like I've used a really good cleanser. <laughs> like I know that sounds really silly, but it just feels like my skin is really clean. I don't feel like my pores are clogged in any way. I don't feel like I have any residual makeup. In fact, I don't. Like I've wiped the cotton rounds over my face now. There is no traces of makeup left and that was with basically one cleanse, one cleanse. So I haven't done a second cleanse and cut the footage out. I haven't done anything like that. That was with one cleanse, one passing of the cleanser and just sort of massaging that into the skin and then wiping it off. I will say I prefer to remove it with a face cloth as opposed to the cotton rounds just because I feel like you could use quite a few cotton rounds removing it. Whereas with the face cloth, it was much easier to just wipe it, take it off, and you're kind of good to go. Um, but if you're in a bind and you're traveling, like that is the perfect size. That plus um, either a mini um, mini micellar water and a couple of cotton rounds or even like a travel face cloth or something like that. And you'll be able to take your makeup off and cleanse your skin and just feel really nice easily. You don't have to pack, you know, 13 different products and you don't have to worry about it or anything like that. And I have to say, I'm really impressed, particularly because I did not pay a lot of money for this. And I'm fairly sure the full size is not that much more expensive, like maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe around like $15 or something. I'll pop it up somewhere on the screen at the moment, how much it actually does cost. I picked this up from Chemist Warehouse in Australia. I'm fairly sure you can pick it up in the States, maybe in the UK, I don't know about anywhere else in specific. But you can definitely get it at Chemist Warehouse in Australia. I'm just super impressed with this. Like, that took no effort. It was really quick and easy. Like, I did not struggle. As I said, I didn't have to, like, really work it in. I didn't have to punish my skin. I didn't have to be very rough when taking it off. It was just really simple, really easy. 
and I would definitely recommend you look into buying this. If you have sensitive skin, you may not like the scent of it, um, but it does say it is a dermatologist tested, so it may be okay for you. Maybe just picking up like the trial size like I did just to give it a go and see if it will actually work for you and if it doesn't break you out. I am hoping this does not break me out. I don't see it breaking me out. My skin can kind of go through a lot of torture without anything happening to it. So I don't anticipate that this is going to break me out. But if it does, I will leave something in the description box because I am going to continue to use this. This is probably going to now be my number one way to remove my makeup. So I will leave an update in the description box if it has broken me out or if I notice any sort of nasty effects with it. Um, like I said, I don't anticipate that happening, but if it does, I will leave it down there. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend this. I think this is fantastic. So worth the money. Definitely give it a go if you have not already. If you have given it a go, please leave your experience and what you thought of it in the comments down below. But yeah, I think that just about wraps it up for this successful product trials. If you do like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Remember, I am running monthly giveaways on my blog as well. So if you would like to enter that, there is a, just a link in the description box down below. It's very late. My words are not working properly. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.